In this video, we're going to be talking about the upgrade migration or going from version 31 to version 32. And it could be actually earlier than version 31 if you wanted to use version 30 or 29. There could be some minor changes that you'd need to make, but for the most part, the steps are going to be the same. So the first step is to shut down Bobcat if we have it open. So I'm just going to close that down right here. No, I don't need to save anything. And then it's going to shut down. Now, the next step is then launch a file explorer so that we can get into our computer. Now, what I want to do is I want to go to my C drive. So I'm going to click on this PC on the left and then scroll down until I get to my local disk C drive. And then right here, we have a folder in here named Bobcad Cam Data. So we can open that up. And then right in here, we'll have all the different versions of the software that we have. And then right here, I'm going to go ahead and go to the Bobcad Cam V31. Now, this is where I'm going to take the files, and then I'm going to return them down in here in the V32 file. So I'll go V31. And so the files that I'd want to copy along with my V31 would be things like the backup folder. If I have any backups of parts, I might want to grab those. Otherwise, they will stay inside of my V31 folder. But if you're planning on taking version 31 off of the computer, make sure to grab the backups folder so that you have a copy of all that. Down here, the examples. These are just going to be the examples that are inside the help system. So no big things here. Down here, we have the whole features folder. Now, inside the feature folder, this is where we can save tool paths. So this is where we could save certain types of features that we might want to run. And that's where you'd place them. So you just take the contents of this folder and copy them and then paste them in the V32. Down here, we have our NC folder. And this is where we store a lot of copies of our toolpath or G code that we've actually created and we're running. So you can actually copy these out of here and paste them in your other one as well. Again, if you're planning on getting rid of the version 31 off of your computer, you'd want to make sure to back that up. Down here, we then have our post folder. Now, inside the post folder, this is where we're going to find the post processors that we need to copy from version 31 or 30 into the version 32 so you go to the category you want so in this case i'll go to mill and then i'll just scroll down i'm just going to grab this bc3x mill but i'd be able to copy it and then i'd go back with this and take it to the bobcad cam data folder version 32 go into the posts and then go into the mill and all i have to do is paste this right here and i shouldn't have anything i'm just going to replace the file it's already in there but that is how you'll get it from one folder to another folder, so from 31 to 32 or 30 to 32 here. Now back into the version 31 folder, there's a little bit more that we can grab, which is inside the technology folder. Now when we open up the technology folder, we have a couple files in here that we can use to copy things back and forth. So first you have your tool cribs. This is a great place to save any tool cribs, and if you have any saved in here, you can bring those along with to version 32. Also from this folder, we have our material DB. Now this is our material library. So this is all the materials that we have inside of Bobcad. So you can copy that from this window here. So if we say copy, I can then go to version 32, go down to the technology folder, and then actually delete this one. So I would delete the material database from here and I would paste my one from version 31 and again make sure you have bobcad closed when you're doing this and that way when you launch it it grabs that file instead of the one that came with version 32. so back over to version 31 we also have one more file in here if we scroll down it is our tool file.mtools this is our tool library so what you can do is you can copy this and then paste it inside the v32 folder again and that way you'll have all the tools from version 31 or previous inside of version 32 when you load it up. And then to make sure you have all that stuff selected, I'm gonna go ahead and launch version 32. And then when the software loads up to gain access to all of those things, the first thing we'd have to do, let me start a new job real fast. I'm just gonna hit okay. Now, if we were trying to load features in, we would right click on the machine setup one and we'd be able to go down and say load feature and just access the features folder. If we wanna see our tools, we could go up to the top where it says tools and just click the button. And this is going to be our entire tool library from version 31 into version 32 here. So we can actually sort through here and see all the different tools. And if we did add anything, they're all going to be added into there. For the materials, you're going to find those right under stock. So we just have to expand stock right here and we'll find our material. Or you can click on material up at the top. And this is going to have all of our materials in it from our version 31 because we would have replaced that file. 
And then the final thing we want to check on, make sure it came over, would be the post processor. So you can find that very easily by just expanding right here where it says BC3X mil. And then below that, you should see your post processor. And then you'll actually set up the default post processor through the current settings, which we'll cover in a later video. But if you want to change your post on the fly, all you do is right click on this BCPST file, say edit, and then hit select. And then it should open up to the V32 posts and the mill folder. And then you pick whatever post you want to run. When we're done, we just hit OK. So those are the main things you're going to try and bring from the early version on. There may be more things that you can bring over. If you have any questions on whether things will translate from the previous version to the new version, just give a call to tech support and they'll be able to point you in the right direction. And that concludes the video on the upgrade migration from inside V32.